Tonight, there are more problems for a man accused of being one of the city's most prolific drug dealers. He is locked up tonight on a federal hold, and there are new allegations he left people who hired him as a contractor high and dry. The investigative unit in Chris Nakamoto here now with claims of a dirty deal that left one woman with a leaky roof. Michael Brenda Robinson just wants what she paid for, a new roof constructed to the specifications in the contract she signed. Tracking down the man who left her hanging hasn't been easy until she was watching WBRZ this week. The men didn't understand me, so I just had to use cut. Brenda Robinson's Monticello home is one where she shared the happiest of memories with family and friends. It was fox, but he just stuck a piece of wood up there, and as you can see, it's dry rot. But for the past year and a half, the way it looks is something she wishes she could forget. After she says she hired Frank Palma to replace her roof. I was at um, jury duty on this day, come home to observe that he was putting new shingles over the old shingles. So once I observed that um, he was putting new shingles over the old shingles, I stopped. I immediately stopped the job. Robinson's contract with Veterans Inc. says new roof replacement and tear off of old shingles. As we were going back and forth, he tells me this is what people do. I say, no, sir, this is not what my insurance company is paying you for. It was a tear off. Robinson paid Palma $5,500 and was scheduled to pay the rest when the job was complete. Once she stopped the job, that's when workers got angry. He was going back and forth. Of, of course, he was talking in Spanish, and I know they was cursing me out. I probably was everything but the child of God. They saw throwing stuff. They bolted, and she hasn't been able to get him back. She filed a lawsuit last year, but no one has been able to locate Palma to serve him until he was taken into federal custody this week. This is the result of a nail over. Three-fourths of, of your roof done, and you're messed up. You know, still, still can't with, get it rectified. Can't get it rectified. You got... I got third party insurance, can't get my insurance straight because my roof is considered incomplete. Robinson says she was watching the news this week when she saw Palma and others were arrested, suspected in a big drug ring operated out of a home around the LSU lakes. Inside the home, prosecutors say they found hundreds of thousands of dollars. It apparently wasn't from their boutique in town center. There were guns all over to protect hundreds of thousands of dollars in cash that was allegedly collected from selling heroin and cocaine. The indictment shows that Palma and Brittany Allison, one of his co-defendants, took many trips to Mexico City to bring back cocaine and heroin to the United States. I have to get my roof fixed. Robinson right says she did her due diligence but should have gone with her gut. To him, fix it. You know, do what's right and let things, you know, this is a lesson learned for me because I trusted him. I gave him my word. My daughter, mama, find somebody else. I don't feel right about him. I think you should find somebody else. You know what I told her? Well, Brittany, I gave the man my word. And your word is a bond, especially when you have a heart that I have, compassionate. And, and the truth is the light. And he just was wrong for what he did. Tonight, Robinson says she's happy Palma's in custody and hopes she can get her roof fixed once and for all. The money that he received for me and then never called me not one time. Miss Brenda, can we fix it? Nothing. Have not heard from him. It was just like, I got your money. That's on you. But what he's dealing with, that's a choice he made. And that's a choice he going, you know, that's something he going to have to deal with. And, you know, any questions dealing with that, that's for Frank, <laughs> you know. We contacted Palma's attorney who is representing him on the criminal matter. He declined to comment on the civil case. A judge ruled this week that Palma will remain locked up until the federal case goes to trial. Michael.